The final uh, thing to talk about here in relationship to this are two concepts, uh, one called recovery point objective and the other one called recovery time objective. Recovery point objective, otherwise known as the RPO, this is the maximum amount of data that your business can afford to lose, and it's measured in minutes. So when you are designing you know, uh, backup and restore scenarios, you can say, well, the maximum amount of data that we are willing to lose is an hour's worth. So then you should back up at least once an hour. Um, the maximum amount of data we're willing to lose is a week's worth. Then you should be backing up at least once a week. Um, and these are really business decisions as to how much data you're willing to lose, and then you just do the backups with whatever you're willing to accept there. The recovery time objective, otherwise known as the RTO, this is the maximum amount of downtime your business can afford to lose when restoring data. Now, data loss and recovery cannot be completely prevented. Right? There's no way to absolutely prevent this. So again, failure is inevitable. This is inevitable too. Um, and the, sing the Earth is a single point of failure, as I like to say. So if the Earth gets destroyed, all your data is gone. Deciding the proper values to have for RPO and RTO, these are really mostly business decisions, not technical decisions, right? You're gonna write the code to do a backup. Whether you execute that code once an hour or once a week, that's really a business decision because you've already written the code to do the backup. The smaller the business wants the RPO and the RTO numbers to be, the more expensive it's gonna to be to run the service. If you take backups more frequently, well, that means you're going to be saving those backups more, so there's more storage that you're going to have to be paying for. Um, if you want the recovery time objective to be small, then you're probably going to end up writing a lot of code to really try to shrink that down. Uh, and so if the business decides that this is really, really critical, then the business is, has to be willing to pay for it. Right? You have to be willing to pay for it in terms of developer time to write all the code to shrink some of these numbers down. And you also be willing to pay for it in terms of um, you know, storing more amounts of data. So, but these are business decisions that need to be made on a case-by-case -case basis.